We'll move into the, of course, the heated topic, I'm sure. Uh, so, uh, it uh, come to my attention um, on Tuesday, I guess it was Tuesday, that a survey had, had been sent out um, to a group a club, um, and that survey had not been approved by Mr. Curtis or myself. Um, I had Mr. Curtis to go down to that teacher um, to have that um, survey pulled. And, um, you know, the thing that, that we are here for, and, I, and I've talked to our principals today, and, and I gave them the, the board policy. The one thing that we're here for is to educate kids. That's right. And we are here to teach the standards and the curriculum that is presented from the State Department. Um, there's a lot of obstacles that goes into teaching and a lot of obstacles that we are faced with on a daily basis. And our main focus should be focusing on that curriculum and those students and getting them ready for their futures, whether it's going to college or going to work. And I've told the principals today, there shouldn't be any survey that is sent out without my knowledge or their knowledge, and they can tell you that, that concerns students. Um, you know, and if there is a survey that goes out, parents ought to be made aware of what's in the survey with the option to opt out. Uh, so this is something that is still ongoing with me. Um, and so we will open up the floor, but I want you to please, I just asked that we keep this civil. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're just wanting, you know, you've got a right to be heard and we're here to hear. But I, I just ask that everyone remain civil and be respectful. Let one person speak at a time so their thoughts and their opinions can be heard by this board and no one overtake what they're being, that they are saying or stating so that it can be heard. There are a bunch of people in this room that want to be heard tonight. I know there is a bunch of people that want to be heard tonight. Be respectful of that. Um, and Mr. Tubbs will go over some of the guidelines that uh, we, we follow when we uh, have people come and speak. Um, but I just ask that you do that, is to be respectful of everyone's uh, thoughts, whether you agree with it. There's a lot of things in this world I don't agree with, but we've got to listen to everybody's <coughs> side and their opinion. Don't mean you have to agree with it, but it's something that, that needs to be respected. Okay. <clears throat> Any persons that are wishing to speak tonight, <clears throat> you'll need to state your name and your address. You've got two minutes to speak. So, anyone want to speak? Okay. Yeah. And be careful you coming up here. You can speak you can you can wherever, right? Because yeah. you're just, it's. Yeah. And you answered some of my questions. Um, and I'll address you, Mr. Tobes, and sure. Chairman, if that's okay. So regarding the, there are multiple surveys sent out this week, correct? Right? Um, so regarding the first survey, which is the FFA survey, who created the survey? It's my understanding that students created that, and it was given to the teacher. Which, which students? It was FFA students, correct? Is this nationwide? Just the national? Statewide? Yeah, it state, is, state. Yeah, but it is a, that is something. The initiative to be inclusive is a 2018 FFA national uh, initiative that they put in in 2018. So, but my question is this survey wasn't created by the FFA, right? This is created by a student in the, the school system, right? Yeah. As far as I know. Okay. Is that right? So, who posted the survey to the FFA students? I didn't. 
danger. And that danger is? The DRS. So when this was sent just to FFA students, correct? Yes, sir. Posted in the FFA Google Classroom page. Okay. So who reviewed the content of the survey when it was turned in to be posted? Did the teacher? But you reviewed the content of the survey and you felt it was acceptable to give to our kids. Okay. I treated it as any other agri survey that comes to the program. So this survey about the LGBTQ whatever is part of ag science? No, sir. Um, okay. And it's relevant to the FFA? It is. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm well, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> well, we go, uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It, I so get it. I assume you didn't yeah. answer the question. Yeah, I don't know all the answers to <laughs> it. Hey, what was your name? You didn't oh, say I'm your sorry. name and address. I'm Ron Molliday, 400 Oakland Drive, Smithfield. And my time's up. You have two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, what? Why do we always have to put a time limit on somebody wanting to talk? I've never <laughs> understood that. They've well, got as much right to talk, talk as we do. Thank you. So well, everybody has got minutes there. So, I mean, no points made. Uh, no yeah. questions. Yeah. 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 The whole town wants to talk. If you want to talk, I'll tell you, you know, for whatever my vote, for whatever my work, you can send them there on that. Hey, I'll get them out. There you go. Go ahead. I'll make it quick. I'm sorry. Here we go, guys. Here we go. This is Greg Molinay. He's a student at DCHS. He's my son. He's a sophomore. Lives at the same address. Okay. So, this teacher reviewed it, approved it, posted it. Who removed the survey? I did. You By did. Mr. Curtis, I had Mr. Curtis. You had him removed. Okay. So, who was held accountable for this being posted to our kids? It's still under investigation. It's still under investigation. So there's no disciplinary action, no, nothing been taken at this point. Not at this right. point. Okay. <coughs> so, given a lot of the situation, that day when all this was discovered, obviously you didn't know what was going on, nobody knew what was going on, right, that's fair to say. So, why weren't parents made aware? Hey, there was a survey sent out, permission wasn't granted, we didn't ask you, I mean, you understand where I'm yeah. going with it? I yep. mean, this I is totally a problem. Understand. Yep. I mean, whether you agree with it or disagree with yep. it, it's a problem. I mean, and my question is, this all took place without your knowledge, without my knowledge, inside the Cap County High School, who the principal is the authority there, correct? Correct. So, you're the authority over the principal, correct? Mm -hmm. You're the authority over him, correct? No, this entire board is well, seven of us. But I mean, as yeah. chairman, you represent the board. Yes, legally. No. Well, you understand what yeah. I mean. The school board mm -hmm. is the whole thing. Yeah, one. Okay. So, how is we as parents supposed to trust leadership and administration on any level? I mean, if this happened without our knowing, without our permission, obviously the kids had a problem with it. Um, and I, I think that's one of the things we'll be discovering. I mean, how do we trust? anybody making any decision moving forward and, you and, know in a leadership yeah and, and i totally get it and, and you know i said you know if i can predict people's behavior it would be great you know i i've got 500 employees go out every day and you know they're in the mindset they can do whatever and however no they can't that's your response right but I'm just saying I'm a director as well. Yeah. I have a ton of employees and I'm accountable and responsible for every single thing they do. But you can't make every decision for them. Uh, I can't make every decision for them, but yeah. I'm responsible exactly. and I'm held accountable. And, and you know what? I won't start that issue. Okay. It, you know, I, it's under my watch. Okay. I appreciate your time. Thank you.